Hey guys, it's Blake over at Beauty Saw Works. We are going to be setting up a uh, brand new Xmark Quest today. Uh, a customer came in yesterday evening and bought it, so we're going to get this thing ready to go. Just want to show you the process of what we do um, so that when the customer picks it up, it is absolutely perfect and they can go out and mow grass or whatever they need to do with this thing. Uh, and so we're just going to get this thing ready today. All right, Chance, what are we going to do first? First off, I'm going to go ahead and check the oil in it. Make sure. It's good at the full mark. You see, it's uh -huh. right there at the full mark. Yep, so our oil's good, level's good. Now these things come uh, from the factory in a crate, so we actually just take them out of the crate, uh, we hook the battery up, we put uh, air in the tire, we just make sure, wanna make sure this thing's ready to go. Um, and they're pretty much come well assembled uh, on these quests we have to actually have to put the seat on so that's just an extra step we have to do all right so now we're going to just check this battery check these cables be sure uh, everything's good and ready to go for the customer everything's tight and good all right so we've checked the battery we've checked the oil uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to check the tire pressure uh what do these have to be at chance on these back tires Here has to be 24. Yeah, the, so the rear's got to be at 24 PSI, and uh, the fronts, because these do have 14. tubes in them, they're what? 14. Yeah, 14 on the front, so we're uh, going to just make sure this pressure's right. If the pressure's off and one tire's got less tire pressure than the other, uh, the customer will notice his cuts off, so uh, we want to be as close as possible uh, in each tire, so the pressure's uh, even throughout, everything's even, uh, the cut's perfect, so... Uh, that plays a huge factor in making sure your deck's level. All right, Chance, let's see what we got. So it's got to be, what, 24, 24, you said? 4.9 in it. Just a hair out. There we go. Yep, 24. Good deal. Pull that hair out. There you go. Perfect. So, uh, Chance just aired up the rear tire and the front tire on the left-hand side. He's doing the right-hand side now. Um, the front tires are actually over 14 from the factory, so we actually had to let a uh, little bit out on those. Now, the rear tires were uh, about a pound low, so we had to add a little bit. So, uh, each one of these mowers is different. I mean, they're going to vary. They're going to have, some are going to have more or less, so we just kind of, we, we just want to go over these things and double-check them, triple-check them to be sure... They're as close as possible because when that customer puts that deck down and they start mowing, um, that we, you know, that, that tire pressure needs to be even throughout, so it's just an even cut. All right, so we've got all the tire pressure right. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to get this, uh, try and level this deck as uh, best as possible. On these quests, it is a little more difficult, but uh, we're going to show you the process of how to do that. All right, so here we've got our deck level. Um, we always want to level our decks. We do. Uh, each dealer does it differently, but we try and always level each one of them on three. So what you'll do is you'll set the uh, the deck height on the mower to three, and you'll come here, um, put your deck level on three, and then what it does is this actually hits the blade. I'll try and show you this. Put that on the blade, and it will move up and show you what inch it's at. All right, Chance, go ahead and drop that deck. We're we'll gonna drop it on down to three. Right Perfect, yep. All right, so what we did to level this deck on these quests um, is actually come over here to the side. You've got one of these on each side. Um, if you can see that bracket right there, you've got a pin here and it's got a couple different options on holes. So what we did was we put the deck on three um, and we wanna check the back uh, of the deck first and so we want to make sure that uh, that the back is as close to to uh, three as possible uh, or I'm sorry a little bit above three so you want to adjust these pins to where where you can uh, you can be right um, above three inches and so what that does is uh, we want the back of the deck to sit a little bit higher than the front I think we've got what chance you said a quarter of an inch so we've got a quarter of an inch rake on this deck, and what that does is that allows the, uh, the, the front of the deck to sit down a little bit, creates more airflow in the rear end of the deck. Uh, in wet conditions here in the south where we are, the, uh, the wet conditions, it will actually 
take this grass on this deck and uh, it will actually get rid of it out of the deck a lot quicker with the rear end sitting up. Uh, and we'll do a video soon on, on the importance of your rake and how to adjust those on different mowers and things like that because in some cases you want the uh, the rear of the deck sitting lower too so it all depends on the the conditions of the turf um, and all that good stuff so yeah so we've got a quarter inch rake the front of the deck is uh, going to sit right at three inches in the back we want it right about you know three of an eight three and a quarter anywhere in between there is fine all right, so once we do that on the rear, on these Quest, you've got a, uh, a little nut right there. And what size socket is that? 19. Uh, so a 19 millimeter uh, socket will fit that right there. And what you do is you tighten and loosen it, and that will raise. So that's in the center of the deck. I don't know if you can see that. that that's the center of the deck. And that rod goes all the way down. So as you tighten and loosen it, it's pulling that front of the deck up and down. So like I said earlier, we want the front of the deck on three inches. Um, and so with our deck level, obviously we'll put the blade um, like this and we got the front of the blade and the rear of the blade here. So uh, the front of the blade we want on three and the back we want on, you know, three and a quarter or something like that. Just enough rake to get that grass out of there. So uh, if you've got a quest and you need to know how to level that deck, a uh, little secret, this little thing right here, this nut, 19 millimeter, when you tighten and loosen that, it will raise and lower the front of the deck. So yesterday, uh, I was getting ready to film, uh, setting one up for a customer. Um, did the whole thing, got out to the road, ran out of fuel. So we're putting fuel in this mower now so that we don't run out out there. What we're going to do now is we're going to go uh, set the tracking on this mower. Um, basically what that means is we're going to adjust the, uh, the steering levers and the hydro. So when we go forward, we want both levers... Uh, to be even across, you know, uh, both of them to be even, and we want to push them all the way forward, and we want that mower to go completely straight. If it goes to the right or goes to the left, what we're going to do is we're going to, uh, I'll show you, we're going to adjust the tracking so that we can pull those levers back um, just so that it feels comfortable. You don't have one lever half inch in front of the other. You know, it just gets uncomfortable when you do that. So we're going to show you that process. So before we go out there and uh, adjust the tracking, Chance, won't you show us how you're going to adjust it when you get out there? You turn this nut right here, you tighten it up, which will speed up the tracking. And you back it off to slow it down on that side to keep keep the motor turning side to side as you're going all the way forward on your handles. So one thing we're going to check before we go out there, so we want to make sure these handles are in as even as possible right there. Um, now after we track it and we slow it down or whatever, when we push these forward, we want those to be completely even. So you can see this one over here is a little off. Um, that's just a little uncomfortable for the customer as you're driving. So uh, what we're gonna do after we track it is we're gonna adjust this one to be even um, with this one. When we track this thing, um, what we mean is when we push this forward uh, like that, he's got it straight forward as so he can get it, but that mower's turning to the side over here. We're actually gonna adjust this one back a little bit so that it slows it down and uh, leave this one alone so that we can kind of straighten that out. So we're going to see if we can get that taken care of. All right, so we've got the tracking done. Uh, the next thing that we do uh, is we want to rinse this mower off, first impressions or everything. So we're going to rinse this thing off, clean it up, make sure it's ready to go. The customer's actually out front waiting on us, so I'm going to try and get this done as quickly as possible. We are using a steel RD400 is what we use to clean our mowers off with. So. Uh, I think steel makes a great pressure washer. Uh, I'm sure we'll have some videos coming soon of, uh, of our pressure washers, but that's one of the good ones. All right, so we just loaded the customer up uh, and sent him on his way. Uh, he was very pleased, um, very happy he was buying that mower for his son. Uh, his son's wanting to, uh, but just bought a house and, and need the mower to cut his yard. So uh, we got them fixed up and got them taken care of. And uh, that's just one of many mowers that we sell um, throughout the year. Uh, this is a nice young gentleman that uh, is her first, mo first mower purchase. So he was very pleased. So uh, we appreciate y'all watching and come see us if y'all need anything.